Is there intelligent life in the universe? How about Earth? Farms, villages, towns and cities, our art and culture, stories and music, science and engineering, education, society. Everything we know and love today developed on a stable, resilient planet. It wasn't too hot, not too cold. Scientific evidence shows that global average temperatures changed no more than plus minus one degrees Celsius. But something stirred here 60 years ago and still grows exponentially. We now use an area the size of South America for our crops and the size of Africa for our livestock. We've produced enough concrete to cover the earth and enough plastic to cling film it. International research shows the atmosphere, the oceans, and the lands are changing at alarming rates. Up to this point, 2014 is the third warmest year on record. 2015 is the second warmest. And yes, you guessed right, 2016 is the warmest year ever measured. Human-induced climate change is no longer a theory. Arctic sea ice is collapsing rapidly. Coral reefs are dying. Fish stocks that feed three billion people are at capacity. Choking clouds of pollution stretch across continents. Global average temperature is now 1.1 degrees Celsius. We are smashing through planetary boundaries. Climate, deforestation, fertilizer use, biodiversity. We are approaching irreversible tipping points in the Amazon, the Arctic, and Antarctica. We are causing the sixth mass extinction. So, is there intelligent life on Earth? Scientific evidence shows carbon dioxide emissions growth has stalled in the last three years. The ozone hole is stabilizing and may fully recover. We're eradicating diseases. Life expectancy globally is now 71 years. The average number of children per woman in the world is down to 2.5. Every child's birthright is a stable, resilient Earth. This is now at risk. We need science and society to work together for a sustainable planet. We need a worldview based on facts, not fiction. We need development that stores carbon, not emits it. That purifies water, soil, and air, not pollutes them. That enhances biodiversity, not destroys it. And right then, we might just find intelligent life on Earth. <laughs>